Hello and welcome to CVTV. I'm your host Jeremy and today we're going to be going over the assembly and installation of the Elite Internal Skimmers. So unbox your skimmer and let's get to it. Okay, unbox the skimmer. Make sure all the components are accounted for and nothing is damaged. Let's start by installing the output flow assembly. Grab the gray T, locate the arrow marked on the bottom of the T as well as the arrow upward facing arrow mounted on the body itself. Align the two arrows like so. And then we will install the output flow wedge valve. Grab the dial, insert it on over. Nylon screw simply threads into the dial, keep it in position, like so, and then we'll place the silencer over the top, and the airline, which will slip onto the bottom of the silencer. Like so. Okay, to install the RODC pump, we are going to grab the output adapter, make sure that the seal is inserted inside the nut of the adapter. We're going to simply slide it into the hole within the side of the skimmer body, and notice that there's also a lining hole on the inside of the bubble plate. If it is not aligned, just loosen up the screw which will rotate the whole assembly to align it. Insert a nipple and through. And like I said, if you need to align it like that, we tighten up the ball plate screw. We'll grab the RODC pump, take the Venturi ozone adapter and thread it onto the intake of the pump. Make sure that the larger the two intakes is in the 12 o'clock position and take the pump simply just threads adapter on over the output of the pump like so all right, to install the ozone and airline, we're going to simply grab the ozone line, insert it into the dial in the upper portion of the skimmer, slide it on through, and it will slip right over the smaller of the two intakes on the pump's venturi. For the ozone, if you're not using ozone, simply cap it off with the black cap or with if you decide to use the ozone, just take the coupler, insert it in there, and the line will couple to your ozone generator. To install the airline to the larger of the two on the Venturi, like so. All right, to install the collection cup, just insert it into the notches of the collar and rotate like so. Notice that you do have a drain which you could choose to run it with the plug and have the collection enter into a collection cup or you can use the provided elbow adapter and insert it into the cup with the drain line, which will usually clear most sump walls into a drain collection container. All right, for the RODC pump, you have several components. You have the controller, you have the power supply, and the power supply's power cord. Just insert the power supply power cord into the power supply, like so, matching Plugs, insert, and 
go on the watertight seal. And all right, when installing the actual controller for the RODC pump, please do not mount over any water source or any humid environments. There's long enough range of cords going from the pump to the controller and the controller to the power supply to up, mount it outside of the skimmer stand, up on the wall, anything away from the water supply. This is not waterproof and can be damaged from any extra humid environments or uh, actual water spilling on the controller itself. Allow three to four inches of space so that the controller can breathe. And there is four tabs where you can mount the screws so you can securely mount it to any surface. Now that we've got the skimmer assembled, let's talk about getting it installed. This skimmer will require between seven and 10 inches of consistent water depth. Before placing a sump, please remove the skimmer pump and the collection cup. Lay the skimmer within the sump, attach the skimmer pump and the collection cup, and power up the controller. When operating for the first three to four weeks, we do suggest to leave it in the max or more open position, leaving the water level within the skimmer low. We say this because within the first three to four weeks, it goes through a break-in period, which is the oils from manufacturing and handling dissipating from the surfaces of the acrylic and the pump, as well as bacteria colonizing within the surfaces, which gives it its stability. Once the skimmer has broken in, you've reached the three to four week mark, go ahead and start closing off the valve to retain pea size or large bubbles within the neck. And you could also use the controller to raise or lower the power cell. Thank you for watching. If you have any issues, please head on over to coralview.com forward slash support. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as leave the comments below. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.